In this Natron tutorial, I will show you how to convert a video clip to a video clip that looks like a painting. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay. First thing I would do, especially if you've tried to use Natron before um, or you've used Natron before, I would always come up to um, cache, and just clear all caches or select clear all caches. That should give you a bit more to work with. Now, if you notice, um, the default frame range, this isn't a time, this is how many frames this will play, is 250. Older versions of Natron, you had to change this manually, so make sure you've got the latest version, and this should set to the actual length of your video. So, what else do you need to do? Frame rate, you can leave this at 24 frames um, per second, regardless, or the frame rate at 24, regardless of what your video is, if you so choose. All this will do is render your video at 24 um, frames per second. If you want to change it, just manually override this to 25 or 50 or whatever your frame rate is. You can use this slider here. So you're sort of ready to go. Now to bring a video into um, Natron, make sure your viewer is selected. This is this. Um, little box in what they call the node graph area here and all you need to do is open up the folder where your video is stored and literally drag the video in so this has given me a video which is connected to the viewer I'm going to just drag these up a bit so that I can drag this down so I can actually see the video better so as you can see this is um, 25 frames per second the only other thing you may want to consider changing is the project format um, I would do this again at the beginning but because this is an HD video I'll leave it at um, 1920 by 1080 change this at the beginning if you want to use a different uh, format so as you can see we're going from frame 1 now to frame 205 which is the actual frames in this video so anything you want to connect up in Natron if you want to sort of connect it from the video to the viewer make sure the video is selected and then use your right mouse button and then next to GMIC you should see something called artistic so I'm going to select somewhere there's a paint one there so I'm going to select paint and what this will do is start processing the video to a painting you would have seen that it had a yellow edge to this box in this box so now we've got this panel here which is the settings for this node now abstract is literally what the word says is how sort of swirly this um, the brush strokes are really so to make this video look more unabstract for one of a better word I'm going to slide this down to one again you'll have to wait till the yellow lines disappear or yellow edges disappear and that's created better brush marks I think now the detail the more detail is actually a lower number so you can drag the detail down to one say and again wait for these to sort themselves out that should give you more detail 
color is really a kind of saturation so if you take if I took this up to three it will make the colors when this is finished more vivid smoothness just blurs the edges so I'm not going to do anything with that if any time you want to go back to the original settings you've got this button here it says restore defaults you select this you can play around with this all again I'm not going to do that though right now we want to render this video so if I just drag this up again you need to make sure that the last node is selected so if, when you get um, to doing more things in Natron you might have a chain of nodes you want the very last one selected then right click and next to image select right and this will bring up this panel so select where you want your video to be saved so in this instance we'll select videos and then you need to place a forward slash after the word videos and then I don't know give this a title so we go a b art something like that that'll do and next to um, this line here you'll see something called e x r little button here select this and select the format you're going to use there's so many of them you're going to have to be a bit patient so i'm going to select mov which is like a quick time format and then select save so i'm almost ready to go now the frame rate here has come up as 24 again so i'm going to reset this and this will set it back to 25 which was my original setting now for some reason the container quicktime mov this codex here doesn't always work so where it says codex ap4h apple pro res i would select this and personally i would change it to this h264 crisco now you should be ready to go so just select render and this screen will change in a minute and you should see something that says running now you'll just have to wait for the whole thing to render I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering when your video um, has finished rendering you should see something that says 100% in finished and if all has gone to plan although you've probably noticed it's taken a fair bit of time but if all's gone to plan you should end up with something that looks a bit like a animated painting obviously because it's a video this tends to um, flicker a bit because of the changes of light but hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers